Time now to turn over to Sean Quinn with our forecast. And you say there's some rain in there. A little bit out there and also a tickle in my throat, by the way, Aww. Tracy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, look at the highs today. We dropped down our temperatures just a little bit for all areas. It got a little bit cool out there, as you can see across the area. And look at Santa Maria, only at 60 degrees, the average being 65. <clears throat> and your records nowhere near those and currently seeing widespread 50s a couple of uh, 60s up until about an hour ago and then it really started to drop because it is definitely cool out there winds yesterday we definitely had the wind issues today they've dropped back and are very manageable but still onshore direction and a very moist atmosphere out there that is really looking excuse me, very uh, spring-like with a lot of moisture rolling through the lower atmosphere. Now, looking ahead, we have a storm system right now set up shop just offshore of the, uh, the Pacific Northwest. A big trailing cold front will come out of this. So Monday, we'll go ahead with cloudy conditions, cool and breezy, maybe even a little bit of spotty drizzle as the marine layer gets pretty thick across uh, much of Southern California and even up into Central. And then by Tuesday, we see a broad cold front, and that means cold air on one side, a little bit warmer in the front. And as it pushes through this region right here, through Northern California and then Central, we'll likely see some showers developing for our northern areas by late Tuesday night. And then by Wednesday, everyone should see some widespread showers. So let's go ahead and look at our future cast. Put the pause button on a few uh, moments right here, and we'll see very moist atmosphere. So we see the shower chances developing uh, even early Tuesday as possible but probably more so, so toward, the, uh, toward the afternoon. And then the evening hours, it rolls in here, and you can see that's going to be some measurable rainfall right there. Even a chance for some thunder. There is a slight outlying, a uh, couple of our forecast models have said, maybe we could see some um, instability and get a pop-up thunderstorm here and there. And then by Wednesday, same story, the rain becomes a little more widespread, moving into Southern California, and those pinks and blues that kind of pop up in the mountains, that is your uh, snow dropping down to maybe 3,000 feet, probably more closer to four. Could see up to 12 to 15 inches above 6,000 feet. So we'll go ahead and look at our rain totals, and these have been bouncing around. Earlier, uh, they were a little bit on the light side. Now they're coming up a bit, especially, especially north of Point Conception. Look at that, getting close to an inch in some areas and then it drops off as you head farther south now hopefully we'll uh, we'll change these numbers and get a little bit more farther south because it, basically everybody in California is really desperate for rain and that includes uh, our neighbors down below Ventura County and there are your high temperatures for both Monday and as we go into Tuesday we don't see a whole lot of improvement maybe a degree or two in any direction but it still stays on the cool and look at that side I mean we're talking barely 60 in some areas and of course um, as we look in all of our areas uh, drizzle possible, cool conditions all the way through your Monday. A lot of fog out there across the region. So we head north and west of Point Conception. Same story there, those 30s in the morning turning into only the 50s and very low 60s by the afternoon. Drizzle chances probably not in our northern areas, but as we head down into Ventura County, you're close enough to LA and that's where some drizzle uh, chances have shown up on our forecast models for tomorrow uh, ahead of that rain chance as we head toward next weekend. So look at that. Boy, we still have some surf out there. The waves look pretty good today. Uh, dropping back just a little bit. Uh, we did have a high surf advisory. That expired for the central coast today. Um, that means waves are coming down and the water still very chilly at 55 degrees. And right there, that is uh, Holden at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Um, he is very important because he is my grandson. And he discovered something right there, which is whoever invented cotton candy and put it in a bucket is an absolute genius because once he got his hand in there, he ripped it out and decided to basically dissolve it all in his mouth in one shot. So happy birthday there, buddy. You are well loved. And there's your seven day forecast. Chance for showers late Tuesday going into Wednesday. And look at that, the thunder showing up on the, uh, the computer. The, uh, the um, computer uses uh, the models and puts in some thunderstorms chances there because there is a slight chance. And uh, those showers will linger into Thursday. Friday looks okay, but a little on the cool side. And then next weekend, there's some outlying models that are possibly throwing another chance for rain at us once we get to Saturday and Sunday. It's a really slight chance right now. But at least, Tracy, in the immediate future, we do have some definite rain on the way. Hopefully, we'll get maybe a half an inch at best for most areas and some snow for all you skiers. Well, I'm glad it was a beautiful day for Holden Zoo Day. <laughs> All right, thanks. We are just hours away from a special. Tonight's The Night Oprah will be interviewing Megan and Harry. We will tell you how to watch.
And in sports, the UCSB and Cal Poly baseball teams going in opposite directions. That's still ahead on your local news channel, live at 6.